Welcome to this screencast on using GeoGebra to construct parallel lines and same side interior angles. I am using the web start version of GeoGebra and um, I am looking at both the algebra and graphics window and in options my rounding is to one decimal place and my labeling is new points only. You may need to put your version of GeoGebra uh, into these settings. We'll start by constructing two intersecting lines using the line tool, selecting it, and making a line and perhaps clicking on it again and getting an intersecting line. We'd like a point at intersection. So instead of just doing a new point, this tool here, we will select a intersecting two objects tool and the directions say to intersect two objects select two objects and so if we click on this line see how it brightens and we click on this line it will automatically give us a point at the intersection let's measure angle D E F D E B excuse me right here and so we will use the angle measuring tool here and we will select three points now these three points have to be selected in the right order GeoGebra does angles in a counterclockwise manner so if you go D then E and then B it will give you the angle that you want, 42.4 degrees. Um, if something is not as you want, we have the uh, undo button right here. And so we can undo that. Uh, let me show you what happens if we select the wrong way. If we select B, E, and D, we get the uh, very large angle that we don't want. So we would undo that. And we want the angle this way, D, and then E, and then B, which tells us 42.4 degrees. Going back to the selection tool, if I want to move that 42.4 degrees here, I can do so. Now let's construct a line parallel to AB going through D. So in my line tool, I am able, excuse me, in my line tool here, I am able to select the parallel line tool. And the directions say select a point and a parallel line. So I'll select point D and I'll select line AB and I get a parallel line to line AB. Let's put a couple of points on this new line. Uh, if I click on point on object, I can put a point, new point here. I can put a new point here on this new line. Uh, now I'd like to measure angle E. D, G. So I'll go back to my angle measurement tool. I'll select in this order. And the way to easily get to the selection arrow is to hit escape on your computer. Um, you'll be using that a lot. So here's my other angle, angle G, D, E. Now, these two angles are 
same side. They are on the same side of the transversal. And they are interior because they are between the two parallel lines. They're inside the parallel lines. So these are same side interior angles. When you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, the same side interior angles are supplementary. These two angles add to 180 degrees. Let's write a little text that says that. So we have clicked on the select the text tool and where in the graphics window we would like to see the text. And now we can type these same side interior angles are supplementary. And uh, we are done with our presentation. Uh, let me just show, though, that uh, all GeoGebra constructions are dynamic, which means that you can change these lines. Let me uh, move this point right here. And moving this point right here uh, makes, makes this angle different. But even though the angles are different, uh, these same side interior angles still add to 180. If I make the parallel lines different, it changes, it changes the, uh, it changes the uh, interior angles again. But both of these two angles still add up to 180 degrees. Thus, this works for any pair of parallel lines cut by a transversal. Uh, this conjecture uh, works all the time, as demonstrated by GeoGebra. Thank you for joining us in this screencast.